all you YouTube fans and all you non-YouTube fans and all you die-hard creepy devil men fans from around the world. Well, today I got a special treat for all you fans out there. An early St. Patrick's Day treat. It's like the little pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Well, today's episode is a brand new episode. And it is called, Who or What is the Real Creepy Doll Man? It will be a four-part mini-series broken down into four parts. Part one, part two, and part three, and also part four. Now you'll get to find out more what the real Creepy Doll Man's about. Meaning who or what he is. You will find out soon. Plus, you'll get to find out his hobbies or what he likes and what he doesn't like. And also what movies he likes and also TV shows and also music and everything else in between. It is March the 14th of 2018. Time is now... 12.34 a.m. I will leave you now so you may hear from him. Alright, well, I see a lot of people say that a lot of people like to know about more about who or what is the creepy doll man. But, you know, a lot of people out there today, you know, they kind of fantasize. Is he real or is he fake? Meaning, is he some made-up guy that, you know, like to, you know, show off? Or maybe that he tells everybody that his dolls are haunted, but, you know, a lot of people don't believe in him. Until they actually meet the guy in person. And they should ask him, why is his name the Creepy Doll Man? Or why is his name the real Creepy Doll Man? Nobody truly knows this very day. And, you know, does he got any hobbies? Well, you know... A creepy doll man has a lot of hobbies. Uh, I like to draw, and I say I used to draw when I was younger. And if you get the real signature of what the creepy doll man's real name is on one of his drawings, it's like a very special treat because a lot of people don't see that it's worth a lot of money if you know if he dies one day. Uh, a lot of people don't really realize the creepy doll man is just like a human, like you or me. Uh, but a lot of people don't know, nobody has ever seen him. It's like, you know, the fake Bigfoot sightings, the fake Loch Ness sightings, and also the fake UFO sightings. But is this man for real? And a lot of people should ask him, you know. And do they have the guts, you know, to come up and ask for his autograph, either on, you know, paper or on one of their dolls, or in, you know, get a picture of him by himself or with one of the fans of his fans. Nobody truly knows that. And the other thing is, do they like to know who he is? I think it's more than just a puzzle. It's actually a, myst a mystery that this guy, you know, is out there in the world and people don't believe that he exists. You have to see it to believe it, you know, that he exists and he's awfully, you know, for real. He's actually flesh and blood like you or me. And the whole concept is that, you know, I do have favorite hobbies of what movies I, I like. I like certain movies out there. I'm not too big and fond of, you know, a lot of comedy. Also, I don't like a lot of, you know, action unless it's a lot of, you know, martial arts. And other movies I like, I like sci-fi. I'm a sci-fi nug. You can tell I'm more like a geek, you know, or a nerd because I like sci-fi. So everything is sci-fi I do like. From the Star Trek, the Star Wars, you know, I'm into that. Uh, Lost in Space. I like the old episodes in Lost in Space. Other sci-fi movies, even the Godzilla movies are sci-fi. And you see them every time on the, the big screen that the Japanese is one of my favorite, you know, Japanese monsters is Godzilla. But I think the creepy doll man is more not into all this other stuff. In drama or in suspense, he's more into horror. And you got to go with the older stuff. The creepy doll man actually likes 
you know, the older movies, when they're all black and white, it's like, you know, Dracula with Bella Lugosi, and he likes Boris Croft, he's a, as Frankenstein, and, you know, he likes the, the certain other monsters out there, the creature of the Black, black Lagoon, he got into that kind of stuff, and the Creepy Doll Man is actually about that. Other movies I like, you know, are more more of modern day, like you know, Nightmare on Elm Street with uh, Robert England playing Freddy Krueger. He was the more villain than this new guy they got out now. He's not as funny, and he doesn't make it dark for the actual character. You can't be another Robert England and say that he is the original. And then, then down the road, I got into other horror movies, a Chucky, which is Child's Play. I went through all of them. I've seen all of them just about. But there's other horror movies I like. I became a horror movie buff, so if someone would have to tell the tale of who or what the Creepy Doll Man is, they would have to do it more like a horror movie. Because it's based upon, you know, he tells everyone that all his dolls are haunted and possessed, and everybody thinks he's just making it all up in order to make, you know, you know people get attention out of people. But is it true? They don't know unless they do his real reality challenge. And I said, he's got a real reality challenge out there right now. That he's daring somebody to come in and do this challenge. Come to his home and stay in his bedroom in the same place that he sleeps with the dolls. Which actually is more scary. And if any fan hasn't seen that, you know, I would have to say I would be terribly afraid to go turn the lights off at night if you're not used to that. Now this guy is claiming they're real, but you know know that he's just more than just a man that he's saying that everything he owns has something attached to it but people don't actually believe him he's actually they think he's a joke until they take his real reality challenge and if two people do his challenge will he get famous for it mm. that's the hard thing to say so he's more than just a puzzle but he's also a mystery as well will he become a legend when one day he dies, you know, he's at the wait to see. And uh, that's about, about how it is. People say that, you know, they, they don't buy into his methods that is he for real. And they always say, is this guy really... What, what he say is, is he the real 100% real deal? And where did he get the nickname, the, the real Creepy Doll Man, and also the Creepy Doll Man? Where did he got the name at? Well, if I had to tell you, he got it from a woman at a grocery store. One day he was showing her his videos, and she gave him a nickname, and then that's where he got famous for the Creepy Doll Man. So it turned out to be, it started out one little video, Next thing you know, it's growing fast as the dolls are. Start out one doll, and then now it multiplied to about like 166 dolls, and in total that fast rate multiplied in less than a year's time. And that's the bit of crazy thing that he keeps saying that his dolls keep growing and growing, and people don't believe in them until they actually see what he puts on, you know, you know, on his episodes or on his video to prove that he's not crazy. And until they see his video, what do you think it's going to be about next? Okay, check out part two coming up next. Or who or what is the real creepy doll man? Check it out coming up next after this episode.